Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for spending your valuable time right here with the Adapt 2030 channel. Worst drought on record, Parches Horn of Africa. Oh, it's only a 70-year record. I was thinking thousands of years before and after. Oh, there's floods there now. Before and after, Sierra Nevada mountains, massive snowpack, massive amounts of water, blooms from space, Antelope Valley. Do you see the solar farms? I sure do. The mechanism to feed our planet nestled resting in a flower. Before a productive world after a list of companies cutting jobs 2023. New job, new experience, you're going to have to know chat GPT to continue. And I'm wondering what kind of energy creates these square wave patterns. And do you think it could affect the clouds? Let's take a look right here, 2020, 2021, 22, 23, and the snow grows. But wait, I was told it was going to be a drought for the next 1,200 years or something ridiculous over in the West Coast. How quickly it changes. Let's zoom in just on the last two years. Record snowpack, Sierra Nevada. And when I say record, I truly mean that. It broke all records for snow depths this year. Well, it makes sense if there's 10% more moisture in the atmosphere from the Hunga Tonga eruption in the Southern Hemisphere. Speaking of before and after, can you see changes from the Antiquitech to the modern world? The Times throwing this article out here, Britons must accept that they will be poorer, says the Bank of England's chief economist. So they're already spelling out the game plan. Soaring cost of English breakfast shell shocks customers and consumers. English breakfasts are up a whopping 23%. Nah, come on. The consumer price index doesn't even take into consideration food, so you try to fudge the numbers. No pun intended with the fudge. That's more of a dessert. The potatoes, eggs, sausages, and tomatoes. Might as well start making your own bread. Toast price is going up. Just as we've seen here, a list of companies cutting jobs. April of 2023, Tyson Foods, 3M, Lyft, Whole Foods, Deloitte, BuzzFeed, David's Bridal, Walmart, McDonald's. What? Walmart and McDonald's cutting staff must be a serious pullback in the economy. Bed, Bath & Beyond, Bye Bye, Vice, Dropbox, Gap, Ernst & Young. And what's so interesting about as we move to this new world from the before to the after, you can clearly see we are stepping into something brand new. One fourth of current workforce tasks could be automated, not could be, will be, planned to be automated in the U.S. and Europe. And if we look at the percentage of those office and admin support, and it's funny because those who are hiring are the same ones that we put out of work at these jobs, legal and architecture and engineering. And you can take a look at the list all the way down. Installation, well, they're going to have to get some better automation there. Robotics to take those away. Building these types of things that need labor, manual fingers. And this graph from just April here, areas of businesses that are looking to hire workers with chat GPT experience. Now that it's warm enough for hiking and biking, I really want to feel good. I take C60 EVO olive oil in the morning and have amazing results all day long. It improves my mental focus and clarity so I can complete projects and I sleep better at night. I definitely have more energy and endurance and my skin improving. C60 EVO works. They sell three potent edible oils that are delicious. Olive oil, avocado oil, and MCT coconut. They also make exceptional anti-aging face and lip serums for both men and women. Everything's made in their U.S. labs, and they do ship all around the world. Treat yourself, your pets, and those you love to healthy products that really improve your life. Save 15% off bundled product sets. That's 15% off each bottle. Also, monthly subscriptions. Save 20%. Use the code ADAPT2030 at checkout. That's c60evo.com forward slash adapt2030. So good, I had to put it in front of the moose. And now on with the video. They're looking for prompt engineers, meaning you have to prompt the chat GPT to you know, set out some data for you, kick you back an answer. Customer service, HR, software engineering. You see where this is leading. 
That's leading right to Lee Iacocca 2.0, lean management, lean staff, lean companies. Remember, Japanese manufacturing swept America, took it by storm after the clunky 1950s and 60s Chrysler, Ford, terribly inefficient lines that they had in Detroit, etc. You bring over lean manufacturing from Japan and that set the world into what we know it is now. That was a transition from lean manufacturing. Lee Iacocca was the spearhead of that one. And now we come to chat GPT and lean workforce. This is the next step, the 2.0 in lean. This time it will be staffing, not manufacturing. Human resources are a redundancy now. They're going to have you learn ChatGPT. Nine out of ten will be gone in the office, and that one who masters that ChatGPT will be able to be ten times more productive than replacing nine of the other coworkers. So stand in a room. Nine of you are going to be replaced by one who can operate the tech better. It's going to be the same with growing food. If you can automate food or grow food more, well, you can see where that goes. Tech is one thing, producing your own food's another. This transition is all-encompassing, it's planet-wide, and it is here again. I'm just thinking about what it was like to move from the year 1899 into the year 1900 with the invent of the assembly line with Ford Motor Company back in the early part of the 1900s. Same, same, but different, as I heard it stated before. Speaking of strangeness, a few days back, April 19th, there was a 4.5 magnitude earthquake deep ocean right in the center of a plate, which makes little sense off North Carolina Outer Banks. This is not where two plates come together traditionally like you would think. Across the earthquake zones of our planet, is this a poke through, a punch through hole as they call it? Because during the exact same time, there were these square waves, interference waves. You know, you see this sometime with the rip currents and definitely don't swim in that if you see it in the ocean. Two opposing currents coming together. But this looks like it's in a small bay or something. Are we talking about scalar technologies here? I mean, what is generating this wave formation? And what vibration and frequency resonance brings us back to this overlapping square form? And the question might be, what would it look like above our heads while that same pattern as above, so below? And stepping over into Africa, Ethiopia, Somalia, Sudan, South Sudan, Kenya, Tanzania. Worst drought on record parches the horn of North Africa. But all around the blue is rainfall. The darker areas in Ethiopia and South Sudan, that is the lack of rain. Now, it sounds crazy, like worst drought on record, but as soon as I saw that with the blue pattern there in the rain, I was like, nah, it couldn't be. Sure enough, it couldn't be. It's only very select locations and only on a 70-year precipitation record. But I do give credit here. La Nina has contributed to unusual patterns across the planet. La Nina is the third La Nina in a row, which has only ever happened one time prior, all the way back to the 1850s. It is unprecedented in a 70-year pattern, but the way they phrased the, the title there, you know, I'm thinking thousands and thousands and thousands of years of history, minimum 6,000 years when they wrote the article, but that's just cherry-picking right there. If you look at the preliminary data here off of chirps, seasonal averages, you're looking at 150, they're at 50% over on the water, and some of that lighter blue is like double the amount of rainfall, which, by the way, is right where the Great Renaissance Dam is. Isn't that interesting? And if you're unfamiliar with the largest hydroelectric dam in Africa, here it is in Ethiopia for you. Exiting through the Blue Nile down into Sudan. So Rosary's Dam, whoever controls that, will control agriculture across the Sudan. and All of the investment coming in for said build out of a new agricultural zone with double rotation crops. Whoever owns that owns the food. And I'll draw your attention down, Ethiopia and Somalia, bottom right, you can see the border there. Look at the floods on the Shabelle River, spilling over with nutrient-rich soils. Also, the before and after, with the colored reflective images here, too. Same exact area, 
same basins, refilling. Also off chirps here. This is November 1st, 2022 to the present of 25th April. Look at the Middle East. Double the amount of rainfall-ish between 150 and 200%. Why is it so incredibly wet there is the question. Are they cloud seeding? Maybe, or maybe it's a 4,000-year cycle repeating. Who knows? These changes are vast. You're talking about changing an area that is one of the driest on the planet to now receive almost double the amount of rainfall. You know, something's changing in our atmosphere. Remember the Hunga Tonga eruption added 10% more moisture in a single day into our atmosphere. That was January 15th of 2022. So a lot of these rain records being broken now could be directly attributed to that. But at the same time, if we're looking further afield and change of ages and cyclical patterns returning again, 400 year, once in a multi-millennia, once in a 2000 year cycle, this is a picture of what it's starting to draw, in my opinion, right now. Hence all the world changes, but these beautiful creatures right here are actually responsible for human food production. I didn't know they slept up to five to eight hours per day, and then a lot of times they'll sleep in flowers, and if there's two of them, they actually wrap each other's feet around for more stability. You learn something new every day, I tell you. And looking at the precipitation increases, January 2022 up to January 2023, and that was not even nearly complete with the amount of snow that is still coming down as this video is being made. Lots of precipitation, lots of extra water. Satellites giving us an image glimpse here of the incredible blooms that are happening across what was dry areas. The once in a 1,200 year drought areas are suddenly at record snowpack, record rainfall before and after. Imagine the wildflowers if you're on the ground. You got to think this is from space and you know how vast mountain ranges and valleys are. You're in between two valleys. That's very, very big. This would be as far as the eye could see color on the ground right there. Then also, if we're going into the Antelope Valley, look at the distribution of solar farms around there. That's really interesting. I had never seen this, but the blooms as well. Everywhere you can see that moisture could sink into the soil plants just waiting to pop out. Antelope Valley, California Reserve in Technicolor. And again, I'll bring it to the right. Look at the vastness of the solar farms. And you can see these unprecedented changes are all around us. You might want to think about storable foods. My Patriot Supply and Adapt 2030. That link's in the description box below. As well as True Leaf Market Heirloom and Organic Seeds for any grow zone on the planet. It is planting time once again. We are all going to have to step out and really start producing a lot more food in our local areas or at our homes and our home gardens. Both those links along with tonight's images, stories, graphics, so you can do your own research are in the description box below. I do thank you for watching. Hope you got something out of the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.